In today's video, I'm gonna show you 12 amazing VS Code extensions. I use these every day, and if you're looking to beef up your VS Code productivity, then make sure you watch to the end. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. With that all out of the way, let's take a look at the first extension. The first extension to show you is called Bracket Pair Colorizer by Cohenrad S. This super useful extension assigns matching colors to opening and closing brackets. So if you have a complex piece of code, with multiple levels of parentheses, curly braces, or array angle brackets, you can easily match the opening and closing tags by their colors. So if we take a look at some real examples, you can see in this function, you have a few different parentheses and curly braces, but they can easily be identified using the colors. Down here, we've got curly braces with an array and more curly braces, but it's nice and easy to read because of the matching colors. Duplicate action adds to VS Code the ability to duplicate a file or a folder. It seems like a bit of a strange omission to VS Code, but no worries, just install this extension. Then you can right click on any file or folder and duplicate it. I like to use this a lot when creating a new component that is similar to another. This component is a bit of a mouthful to say, but once you have it installed, you'll wonder how you lived without it. It adds tons of snippets to VS Code to speed up your workflow. The documentation lists them all. I'm not gonna go through them all, but I'll show you the ones I use the most. When creating a new component, I can simply type RAFCP to automatically create a new component set up with prop types. Or if I'm in a TypeScript file, I can type in TSRAFC to create a React function component set up for TypeScript. I actually just discovered this extension last week, but I'm definitely gonna use it a lot moving forward. Once you've installed and authenticated the extension, it'll show up on the sidebar in your VS Code. Now I can see all of my pull requests and branches. If I was in my work repo here, I would also be able to see pull requests and branches from my colleagues too. I can look at a PR right in my local VS code, and if I wanna check out the code, I can easily do so from here. Super useful. Another Git related extension, Git Lens is a bit like Git Blame inside of your VS code. When you click on a line of code, Git Lens will show you the most recent change for this line of code, and hovering over that line will bring up a context box with more details about the commit and changes made. You can click through from here to the commit and follow it to the PR as well. This is an amazing way to get some context in the code you're looking at and help you work out why it's there or what it means. The open in browser extension is useful if you're working on some HTML. You simply find the file you want to open and right click to select open in default browser. You can also choose to open in another browser. Peacock by John Papa is really nice if you use multiple instances of VS Code. It allows you to change the color for each workspace. For example, I can go into the command palette of this demo app and make it green so it stands out nicely. Then I can go into another instance, which is running my app Neptune, and select a color from Peacock's favorite colors. Now I can quickly identify which instance is the one I'm looking for. Path IntelliSense by Christian Kohler is a useful extension that auto-completes file names for you. As an example, I go into the app test file here and delete the app import. You can see when I go to type it in again, the file name nicely auto-completes for me. If you don't use Prettier yet, you are missing out. I've configured Prettier to clean up my code on save. It's an opinionated code formatter, which means it might format your code a little bit differently than you would type it, but it enforces a consistent style in your code base and means you just don't need to even think about indents, line breaks, or spacing. For example, I'll go into the app file here and create a messy new p tag with the wrong indentation and spacing. When I save the file, you can see Prettier takes over and sorts out my mess. Turbo Console Log is one of my favorite extensions and I use it all the time. It automates the process of writing meaningful log messages. As an example, let's say the app component here takes some props and I want to quickly log out these props to help me with some debugging. Instead of having to manually type it out, including a message for reference, I can highlight the props argument and press Control Option L to create my console log. And as you can see, the log message contains information about the component I'm in and the line I'm on. If you have a bunch of console logs in your code, this will help you easily find the one you're looking for. Version Lens is a great tool to help you upgrade your NPM packages. Once you've installed this package, you can go into your package JSON and you'll see a large V at the top of your editor. Click on that V and version lens will check your packages to see what needs updating. Once it's done, you'll see hovering above your package name, the status of your package and what the latest version is. If you wanna upgrade a package, just click on the latest version, simple. Update your log file and you're good to go. 
Just be careful, of course, about any braking changes when doing this. Finally, Wacka Time is an extension I've been using for years. Once you install it, it starts to track your usage and can then produce reports for you on how much time you spend coding, from what repos you're working in to what languages you're using. It's really useful for timekeeping, and they send me an email at the end of the week that tells me how much time I've spent on each app. So that's it for now. If I've missed any extensions that you love to use, let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.